It all started after dinner yesterday. I was, well, tired after the motive dinner. Then again, most of us were tired after dinner and breakfast. Dinner and a motive. Get to the point. Oh, right. Sorry. Um, but anyway, during around, say, 1.30 at night, or around 11, 1.20 at night, or in the morning, whichever, I had received a knock on my dorm room. When I opened it, no one was there, though I heard footsteps. After I woke up I res and got up, I saw on the floor that there was a note saying, me to saying to me in the library within five minutes. I then went to the library. It was kind of dark. Only a small lamp illuminated the area. Then when I got to the library, I heard footsteps again. But this time they were running. Next thing I know, I saw a dark shadowy figure approach me. And then I panicked. They slashed me. So then I, I blew an icy wind at them, whoever it was. I then banged my head on something, and I got knocked out. The next thing I remember was waking up in the library with Leafy, Torchic, and Silver. And that's it. Wait a minute, if you were attacked, I mean, I didn't really see that gash, but it looked pretty big. How the hell did you survive? What if it's because she landed on the side with the gash on it, so that way it didn't bleed out more? That could be the case. But why didn't the killer just finish killing her? Exactly! This is why this is all some big lie! I'm not- Shut it, Mario! You don't know anything! Mario's not seeming to give up about Lasley being the culprit. But what if that could prove that Lasley wasn't completely lying? I hope this discussion can clear her name. <sighs> It's all one big lie. She's lying to just defend herself. I'm telling you, she's the culprit. I'm not the culprit. Shut up, Mario. You know nothing. Well, how about this? What if there was some proof of, in what Lazarus is saying? What if we found proof that could correlate to what she's saying? I agree with that. Cuphead's right. In fact, Cuphead, do you mind bringing out what we found in the trash? What? You found in the trash? Yeah, this stuff. We found these two things. First thing we found, this. Something else. Doesn't this correlate to what Leslie found? Come to the library in five minutes. I need to tell you, ask you something important. Of course, the person who wrote it and the person he's addressed to is ripped off. But if we correlate that to what Leslie said, then it was most likely the killer just disposing evidence. Hold on. That sheriff's water bottle! So that's where it went. Someone must have fucking drank it. Actually, no. I think they might have used it for something else. Huh? What did they use the water bottle for? Maybe to wash off the blood off their body. What? Oh yeah, the water shuts off at night and doesn't, like, reopen until around, say, like, 6 o'clock in the morning. So, the killer would have no chance but to wash off with something like a water bottle. I guess that's right. Not to mention, if they did stab Miku this many times as they did, then, well, it would be kind of a little strange if they didn't get blood on them. How's this, Mario? Is this enough proof that Lashley's telling the truth? No, there's no can be forged. Hold on, can I see that for a second? Uh, sure. Knock yourself out. What are you doing? This no coil was written with around the same time that correlates with Lashley's testimony. The fuck? How do you know? Well, look, it was written in a, a pen, which is ink. I think you can sniff out ink and see when it was used and how old it was used. That's actually a pretty useful ability. Why didn't you use it? I found no reason to. After all, Mikachan's not dead! And just when I was starting to respect you. Now going over all this, comparing to Lazarus' testimony, it makes sense. She's not the killer. Back off, Mario. Ugh, fine. Whatever. So now we know Lazarus innocent. Who is the one who did all this? Who took the knife? That's what we really need to figure out. Well, obviously, the culprit intended on killing Lazuli, but instead they had to switch to Miku for some reason. That's the some reason. We don't know. I mean, there'd be no reason. Unless... Torchic... I think I might have figured something out. What? I don't want to expect it, but... Just listen to me for a minute. LEND ME YOUR AURA! Wizard Riolu, what did you figure out? There's something that points to who could have taken the knife. 
What, what do you mean? You know who took the knife? Who? With that... For to figure out that, we have to figure out the reason why the culprit switched their victim. After that... It should be clear who took the knife. Huh, what? Just follow my logic. Think about it. Why did the culprit have to switch to Maker? It kind of seems... not necessary. Only until you realize... you're wrong. The glass is just laying there. It would make an easy target for the culprit. Unless... the culprit... You heard me. Something's wrong with me. Now we do have to switch, huh? Answer that. I agree with that! Two. There were two! Two- what, what the fuck? Two of what? There were two culprits. The one that tried to kill Lazuli, and the one that killed Miku! What? You know, that would make some amount of sense. I mean, Lazuli was already about to die, so why didn't the culprit just kill her then? So what you're saying is, the culprit who attacked Lazuli and the culprit who really killed Miku are different people? In a way, yes. In reality, we should already know who tried to attack Lazuli. We do? Who? Lazuli, let me ask you this. The person who attacked you, you aimed their icy wind at them, correct? Uh, yes, I did. Well, then it should be clear who attacked you. Right, Torchic? And they also fit the criteria of who, that, they, that could have allowed them to take the knife. You're right. I don't want to say it, guys, but... The person who tried to kill Lazuli was... It can only be her. It was Miku. She tried to kill Lazuli. What? What? No, you're lying. There's no way Miku Chan would ki try to kill Lazuli Chan. Shit. We've been just rolling her out since she was the victim this whole time, but she was the one who started all of this. But why would Miku do this? I don't know. I'm not so realizing it. All the evidence seems to line up. So here's what I think happened. Miku must have been the one who took the knife from the kitchen earlier. And after that, he invited Lazuli to the library and attempted to stab her, causing a gash. Lazuli, in self defense, used icy wind on her, causing her body to freeze up a little bit, but not for long. But when Lazuli used her icy wind, it blew her back, hitting her head on the freaking uh, machine that had blood on it, creating that weird blood spot. Luckily for Lazuli, she landed on the side of her body with the gash on it, causing her not to die and lose more blood. However, the, the second culprit, the one who really killed Miku, must have rushed in at that time, um, pushing the knife and getting it out of Miku's hands right as she was about to do a killing blow to Lazuli, and then stabbed her. This might be the truth. Oh, so Miku was really the one who tried to kill? I can't- No, you're all wrong! Follow brain? What are you talking about? I Allowing this. Why in the world would you say Miku Chan did such horrible things? Listen, God of Brain, I don't mean to be rude, but she did try to kill. Let's face it, and now she's dead because of it. Miku Chan's not dead, I'm telling you that. She's just sleeping. Now, let's stop talking about this. Oh my god, I am seriously getting sick of this. Mario, calm down. No, Mario, I'm sick of it. She's dead. She's D E A D. Dead! Get that little goggle brain skull of a pebble! Mario, that's enough now! No! I am sick of it! I am sick and tired of him saying, Oh, Miku dead! Miku's innocent! No! We just legitimately figured out she's fucking dead! We found out she's a killer! She tried to kill! And another thing is, I can't believe I'll share that thing is a this bitch! Mario, that's enough! Goggles, don't listen to him! We don't know why Miku did any of this, but if we keep talking- Oh. But Miku's really dead, huh? Yes! I've been trying to say that for the past few hours! Huh? I... I see. Well, 
And I guess I just have different ways of coping with that stuff. Sorry for being an annoyance. No, you weren't. It's fine. He, she was a friend to you. It's hard to believe such a thing. But goggles, it's the truth. I, I'm sorry. Well, Mario, look at you. You look like a real dick now. <sighs> okay, well, if Miku-chan's really dead, then who killed her? That's the thing you need to figure out. Obviously, she's the one who attempted to kill Lazuli, but who killed her? Well, hypothetically, it can be anyone but the people who discovered the body. What do you mean, Kirby? Well, we ruled out a lot of suspects because of the one who... We were... They couldn't have taken the knife, right? Hopper, we just learned that Miku took the knife. So that means anyone could have really taken it from her. Golly gee, Will Kirby's rat! So we're back to square one, essentially. What if I had a piece of evidence? Ah. What are you talking about, kid? Well, you were wondering why I was late to the elevator thing. It's because I was in the library with Miku-chan's uh, body. What? Why were you in there? I was still convinced she was sleeping, so I was talking to her. It was weird. Please get to the point. Well, when I was looking around, I saw something behind the bookshelf she was in front of. Something behind the bookshelf? I never- we never investigated behind there. You saying there was a clue that could lead to who the culprit is? Hey, <laughs> yeah, I found something. Well, then what are you waiting for, wise guy? Show us what you found. All right, here it is. I found this. A leaf. A are you fucking kidding me? A leaf. You're wasting all this fucking time. Made such a big build up just to show us a fucking leaf. Uh, no offense, goggles, but. That leaf literally has something to do with the kids. It's probably just junk. Wait. There was a leaf in the library? That's odd. Maybe it does have something to do with it. Let's get into this discussion. What do you mean this leaf has something to do with the crime? I think it does at least. It's probably just junk. Turbo's Kerb right. People probably don't throw away shit in that library all the time. Exactly, you dumbass. The fact that you wasted our time with that stupid it has nothing to do with the case. No, that's wrong. Wait, guys, don't you see that strange? Strange how? Why was there a leaf in the library? I mean, like I said, it's probably just junk. But the thing is, guys, have you guys seen any plants in this academy at all? Now that you mention it, no. There are no plants anywhere in this academy. It couldn't have came from outside, right? All the windows are bolted up. And any windows that aren't open are just apparently an illusion created by Dementio. Well then how about we ask the bear and the, and the stupid clown? Are there any wildlife in this academy? The simple answer to that is... no. No plants are located within this academy. So wait, how did that leaf get in? That's something we need to figure out, and I think I already know the answer. Huh? You do? Yeah. Goggles, can I see that leaf for a second? Uh, sure. Now, notice this leaf. It doesn't have a stem attached to it. Well, it does, but it doesn't look like it was ripped off of any plant. Okay. Meaning? It must have came from one thing, and one thing only. A grass-type move. Uh, what? Oh, are you referring to a Pokemon grass-type move? Wait, doesn't that mean that the culprit is a Pokemon, then? Yes. Knowing this fact, this is our culprits down to three people. The only grass I Pokemon here. And those people are. They're the only ones! The only people here that are grass type Pokemon are Leaf, Mazelia, and Snivy. One of them is the killer. What? Huh? Eh, what? Well, we've already confirmed my sister's innocence, right? That's true. And we did just say that Rosalia can only... gave us a major piece of information. So that means that the culprit is most likely... Snivy? What? No, guys, it's not me! If I was the culprit, why would I make myself known and early in the morning? I came with you guys. But you didn't come with us to the library. And also, according to the Mentio, the culprit doesn't come towards by discovery announcement. So, if you had went in, the BDA wouldn't have gone off. Uh, well, I just... Hey, hold on! So 
Elder was the one who told me to go with Kirby and you! Wait, you were? Uh, yeah, I did. Maybe. I hate to ask this, but what's your moveset? My moveset? Fine. Do you really want to know? My moveset is the following. I know. Vine Whip, Leaf Storm, Attract, and Leaf Tornado. That is it. Those are two moves that can produce leaves. Leaf of Leaf Tornado and Leaf... and Leaf Storm. Guys, I'm telling you, it's... It's not me! Why would I kill Miku? Hold on, guys. It just occurred to me, but... The cuts. Huh? What do you mean, the cuts? The cuts on Miku's body. Where did those came from the leaves? Um, those had to be some pretty sharp leaves, then. Would a razor leaf attack do, then? Razor what, now? Razor leaf. It's a common grass-type move. However, not all the grass-types can learn it. Actually, now that you mention it, it... Couldn't have been a leaf storm or a leaf tornado. Those generate a lot of leaves and require a lot more cleanup. But razor leaf, it only generates about a few leaves. Exactly. And the thing is, Snag is incapable of learning razor leaf. Are you sure? I mean, leaves seem the same to me. Shut up, it's different! I mean, yeah, Kirby's right. I mean, it could come from a, a, um, a, a leaf storm or a leaf tornado. They could have just spent a lot more time cleaning up the, the leaves than the body. That's not all. This leaf, look at it. It's, although it's sharp, it has no dirt on it. Both Leaf Storm and Leaf Tornado gather dirt from their surroundings, no matter how small and stain the leaves. They do? How do you know it's such a small detail? It's just something I picked up. But regardless, Snivy can learn Razor Leaf, but two Pokemon here can. Leafeon and Roselia. So then it's Roselia. Excuse me, what? Like we said, we already proved her innocence. So it can only be you. So you did it? Uh, no, I didn't. Okay. I'm almost done here. I have to come back to the Who is it? Who is it? Leaf has already been confirmed innocent. So it can only be... Wait a minute. So, you guys want me to identify the culprit? Yes! End this! Now! Alright, fine. The culprit that killed Miku. It was her. It can only be you! It's... It's... It's Leaf. She's the culprit. Huh? What? Wait, what? Leaf is the culprit? Why do you look so damn shocked? But wait, Leaf is the culprit? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm shocked because you were accusing me. But wait, wasn't she confirmed innocent? Yeah, Torchic, if this is a joke, it isn't funny. Y yeah, Torchic, come on. We are confirmed Leaf's innocence. She was one of the people who triggered the body discovery and now- Didn't Lazuli also see the body? Wait, Lazuli, you saw the body? When I guess I woke up in the library, I- See the body. Wait a minute. That means that you could have seen the body too and added to it. Oh, I see. Leaf hut hid within her sister in the BDA. So, from what I'm getting at, it went really like this. After, um, Glacian woke up, she saw the body. Leaf saw it, but it didn't count. And then Silver and Cortex saw it, and then it went off. Wait, so Leafion is the killer? Um, well, uh. No, she's not! Why would my sister do this? It seems like Lazuli's funny back. She doesn't want to believe it, but it's the truth. <laughs> My sister is not the killer. Sure, she can use Razor Leaf, but so can Roselia. She could as well be the killer. But I'm not. I'm in a much less suspicious suspicious position than your sister. But there's no reason why my sister would try and kill Miku! No, that's wrong! Actually, there is. Imagine, in Leafeon's position, let's say this. You, f you see your sister walking in the middle of the night. You follow them. And then when you w walk into the door they saw you saw them walk into, you see them on the floor in blood, with the person with a knife about to stab them. Wait, so what are you saying? She's saying that she killed Miku to protect Lazuli. Wait, hold on. No, that can't be right. Right, Leaf? Uh, well, it's... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Wazily. This is the truth. You just need- CHILL OUT! Oh! Ugh! Wazily. It's- it's Leaf. It has to be her! Just give it up! I mean, who do you mean? You're essentially asking my- to sentence my sister to death! I'm not just gonna give that up! Lastly, if I present you with evidence, will you stop? Fine, maybe I will. But there's gonna be no evidence, so shut up! You're saying my sister followed me to the library? How would she know I was even going to the library? You were, if you were talking to yourself, she would have probably heard it. The rooms are right next to each other. And are these rooms connected by vents? So it meant you two were talking, at least decently loud enough, she could have heard you. Yes, I, w I did read the letter out loud to myself. But still, why did my sister give me first aid, huh? Or at least trying to help me. How? Why? Why wouldn't she do that? If my sister wasn't killed, certainly she would at least try to help me. That's the thing. I don't think your sister thought you were alive. I think when she found you in the library, you th she thought you, you were already dead. What? Allow me to burn through those words. It's simple, really, why your sister didn't help you at the time, because she thought you were dead. What? Oh yeah, she did say that! She thought you were dead! Back when we were talking with Dementia about your wound, she even said that herself, herself that she thought you were dead when we ran into the library. I guess I was just trying to out myself at that point, huh? Sis? She basically just confessed it right then and there, lastly. So just give it up. She's the culprit. No, no. Okay, answer me this. Why, after I found out she was alive, after she found out I was alive, I mean, why? Why didn't you take the park then? Oh? The first blood park? Yeah, I was safe. So, she could have just escaped. She could have gotten help. Why? Why? Why did she accept it then? Now that's obvious, an obvious answer. I'm sorry, lastly, but this is the end. What do you mean this is the end? And now how did you kill my sister? She didn't kill Miku. I swear, it might have been me. Maybe I shoved the knife in her hand when I blew that icy wind. I swear, it's not her. It's not! My sister is not the killer. What are you talking about? She would never kill someone. I swear it. Even if it, all the evidence makes sense, it makes no sense to me. Why would she do this? No, it's not her. I can tell it for myself. She wouldn't protect me. Please, stop it. Stop accusing her. She's not the killer. Please, it might still be me. Maybe Mario's right. It's not my sister. Please, don't kill her. She's my only family left. She, I can't allow her to die. I won't let you do this. She's not the killer. Please, don't do this to her. I'm not, she's not the killer. Maybe I'm the killer. It has to be someone else. Maybe it's Rosalia. Someone else could have fired that razor leaf. I'm not. She's not. Please, just don't convict her. Don't kill her. Answer the question. Why didn't she take the part? I was safe. I, I, I was safe. She could have left me. I would have been fine. She could have gotten help. So why? Why didn't she take the perk? Answer me. Why? 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 Ah. Uh, if she's the killer, wh why didn't she take the perk when she found out I was okay? Why? It ends here, Lazuli. No! Sis! She didn't want to leave you. She didn't care if you were safe. She wanted to make sure you were safe. So she didn't accept the perk because she didn't want to leave you all alone. No, that can't be the- Yeah, that's correct. You got everything correct. Leaf? No. It's just as tragic said. I killed Miku-chan. You killed Miku-chan? Damn. I was not expecting that. Damn it! No! Well, this is a surprising shock. You, you know what? Shut up! Just shut up at this point, Rosalia. What? I am genuinely shocked. I never thought someone as her could be a cold-blooded killer. Just shut up! Well, I guess that's a... Huh? huh? It's a confession. We're done. Uh, she can explain everything after the trial, but... I just wanna leave. Me too. I have the shit. Shut it, Wario! You shut it, you nasty, you asshole. <sighs> Dordrick, I hate to be a pen, but 
Do you mind going over the events of this case, please? What? Why me? You seem to have everything down. So, why don't you do it? Alright, fine then. Leaf, if I make any mistakes, please let me know. This is the truth of this case. This crime all started after the announcement of the first blood perk motive. I don't know why, but the victim, Hatsune Miku, decided she was going to take a life. During the cleanup during dinner, she secretly took a kitchen knife and also hid it away somewhere in her pocket. During the dinner cleanup, Healthy noticed that one of the knives had been missing, but decided just and just looked at it and thought that Roselli or someone else might have taken it to clean. After Miku got the knife, the she then ran off with it to go to Lasley's room, slipped it under her door, knocked, and ran to the library with a knife. Lasley then must have gone up after the knock, read the note, and read it out loud. So that way, just for some random reason. But as she read it out loud, the killer must have heard her in the next room and decided and heard where she was going and decided to follow Lasley. The killer, who was worried about Lasley, must have followed her to the library in secret without Lasley knowing. As Lasley walked into the library, Lasley didn't see much since there was barely any light in the library since it was dark. However, Miku was waiting for her. As Miku was ready, getting ready to attack Lasley, Lasley quickly reacted, blowing an icy wind in, in Miku, but getting a big gash in her, the right side of her body, then banging her head on the computer and knocking her out. After Miku got pushed back by the icy wind, she must have then turned the light on in the room so she could see Lasley better since she was already knocked out. But just as Miku was about to do the killing blow on Lazlo, the killer must have seen what was about to happen and rushed in. Miku being surprised must have tried to fight the killer off. But the killer, after seeing what would look like to be Lazlo's dead body, was enraged and threw a barrage of leaves at them, giving Miku many cuts and dropping her knife. The killer most likely cleaned up the barrage of leaves after they already killed Miku, but unknowingly did have one hid behind the bookshelf, later to be discovered by Goggle. Even though Miku was cut up, they still wanted her to pay, so the culprit grabbed the knife and finished the job they had started, <laughs> stabbing Miku, killing her. The killer then must have cleaned up the leaves and grabbed the bloody knife after saying goodbye to what they thought was their dead sister. But little did the killer know, in the panic, they never checked if Lazarus was still alive. She was just knocked out. Luckily, she was alive because she landed on the side that the gas was on, preventing any more blood from spewing out. Before the killer left the, the library, they most likely grabbed the note Lazlo got, and they ripped some of it off. The killer then did two last things. They threw the knife in the communal bathroom, because they couldn't return it to the kitchen or clean it off. Secondly, they had blood on them, so they needed to clean themselves off first. So their last option was go to the storage room in the dormitory. After the killer entered the storage room in the, in the dormitory, although there was plenty of water bottles, they picked a cold water bottle, that being Shiro, and poured it on them to clean off the blood. And also, this is just an added thing, if you're wondering how, why the killer probably, there was no blood left, the killer most likely absorbed the blood through their leaves and had to dispose of the water bottle. After that, all the killer needed to do was dispose of the water bottle and the note in the, in the trash room and go back to their room. However, during the morning, when the killer found Lazlo's body, she was shocked to figure out that Lazlo was still alive. And when she was offered the first blood perk, she refused because she didn't want to leave her sister. With that in mind, the only possible killer the one who killed Hatsune Miku was, who was all you. The one that killed Miku in order to protect Lazuli. It can be none other than you. Leaf, the ultimate younger twin. You're the culprit behind this case. And that's the truth of this case. Did I get that right, Leaf? Yeah. That's right. That's how we did it. Sis! No. Why? No! I can't you not! Everyone, don't get twisted. I am the killer. I'm the one who killed Miku. Cast your votes for me! Leaf. Well, I'm not! I'm not voting for some, like, you, Leafy! You dumbass, we have to. Might as well start the voting. Monokuma. Cast the votes. Oh, all right then, Demetio. Right. Now it's voting time. We made the right choice. Or the dreadfully wrong one. <laughs> and without further ado, here are the results. Your choice was correct! 
the block and behind the murder of Hatsune Miku, the ultimate Vocaloid was... Little Miss Leafia and the ultimate younger twin! No freaking way, we actually got it right? Wait, why? Why did you do it? Like I said, she was trying to kill my sister. I, and I guess I never checked if my sister was alive. I was scared. I didn't want to leave her even if it meant... I was safe and she would be alive. I didn't want to leave her. She's the only family we have. We're the only family we have of each other. <clears throat> just... Why? I don't know why. I just had to defend my sister. Leafy, please, you know I can defend myself. I know you can't, sis, but... If I had just left her alone, she would have killed you for real. There's still something I want to really know. Why? I already said why I killed... No, not you. Miku, why did she decide to kill? I actually think I can answer that too. Oh, you can? Then share. I don't know for the exact reason, but she was scared. Miku-chan was scared? Of what? This situation. She must have thought she was going to die because, as right before, I was about to stab her. And right when I was attacking her, I saw tears in her eyes. Like she was regretting what she was doing. Like she truly wanted to die. Like she truly was going to die. I... I know what she did was bad, but what I did was too. I killed her. She was scared. We could have helped her. I could have helped her. But now I'm going to die. Just don't be mad at her. She was scared. I just... You know, I like all of this touchy warm stuff, but... It's execution time! What? No, we're not having you do that! Too bad, bitch! No, I won't let you do that! You're not! Hey, Ryodu, Torchic. What? Take care of my sis. Huh? Uh, uh, what? No! No! Leave! Later, guys. Knowing you was the best part of this. Take care of my sister. No! Let's give it everything we've got, Dementio! It's punishment time! <laughs> execution. Uh, I didn't really know what to do for the ultimate and younger twin, so I had to really go off for grass attributes. You murdered her. You killed her. Well, no shit I did. It's in the rules. She killed, so she had to be killed. No. Leave. 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 Leslie! Uh, Leslie, please, please. Is she okay? She's just knocked out. I think the shock was too much for her. Come on, let's take her back to her room. Yeah, it's really late, honestly. But anyway, let's go back to your rooms. Go back to the elevator. Bye! Have a nice day, folks. Ciao! We'll come back to you when tomorrow. Everyone was silent. We were just dumbfounded with what just happened. Me and Mio we were holding Leslie in our hands. And just put her back in her dorm room. She was sleeping. Knocked out. 
Uh, we just didn't know what to do. Hi. <coughs> right. She's in her room. Good. She dressed. Tartik? Huh? What's gonna happen? I'm scared. I don't know. I'm scared too. But no matter what, let's do this together. We'll get through this together. Torchic. Thank you. You're a true friend. Yeah, you're welcome. Alright, well, I'm going back to my dorm right now. See ya. Bye, Riolu. As I went back to my dorm room, I simply just got under my covers and just wondered. Is this really the end? If... And if someone does give in to the temptation of killing again, would we be able to survive? Who would be next? Oh well. Hopefully, that never happens. Ever again.